Hey, my name is Mayhem here, and today I have been sent a parcel. This parcel has come from Infinity Shark and is a final prototype of the BLA Shark Nano. The chaps over at Infinity Shark have sent this over to me to kind of have a look at, have a bit of a review, and a bit of a play with. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So I thought I'd do a bit of a blind unboxing for you. This has not been opened yet, so I'm looking forward to getting into this. Right, so let's crack it open. Here we go. So this is the box that it comes in. So as you can see, we have got the Billy Shark Nano wireless multi-tool device. Lovely logo. On the side here, we have got the Discord link, the Instagram link, the TikTok link, and the YouTube link. We've got that little thing here, your new favorite gadget. Nice blank side here, and then here we have actually got a outline of what the product looks like itself. Once again, their website here, where it's manufactured, what it looks like, and then it's designed and assembled in Canada. So let's open her up. Absolutely awesome design inside the box. I really love it when companies with that extra step and make things look really, really pretty, just like the Flipper Zero. We've got our quick setup guide here, and the model that I have been sent is the white one. I went with the white one as I have not got many gadgets that are currently in white, and I thought it would look absolutely superb in this color. With that, there's also an Infinity Shark sticker inside of the box, which will end up on my sticker wall. And underneath this insert, we have got a USB-C to USB-A cable. Right, so let's get all these boxes to one side. So now we've got the box out of the way, let's have a quick look at the quick start guide. So here's a quick start guide with the setup. We've got the full manual is available at docs.infinishark.com. It tells us how to power the device by flipping the switch here. It shows us how to get started with the actual device itself by connecting it to Wi-Fi and doing an update. It shows us how to do updates and it shows us how to do the charging. It also says make sure the power is on while you're charging, otherwise the device will not charge. And at the back here is all the links. And then on the inside there is some safety information and some addresses of how to contact them. So now that's all out of the way, let's have a look at the device itself. So this thing is tiny. Like, I mean, it's really quite small. It's smaller than a credit card. So just for an example, this is a M5 stick. Uh, this is a Ghost ESP from Rabbit Labs. And then this is a Flipper Zero. So as you can see, size comparison wise, it really is quite small. But unlike the M5 stick, it doesn't get completely lost in your hand. So let's give a bit of a closer look at this. The finish on the mold injected plastic is absolutely stunning. The white is so crystal clear. Here's all our safety information about all the checks that have been made. Here's a lovely logo there again. I really do enjoy that. Looks like four screws to undo it. So on here, you can see we've got our screen here, the screen protector currently still on there. We have got our three buttons, which are back, forward, and select. We've got our power switch. We've got our infrared transmitter and our infrared receiver. I think I've got those two the right way around. And we have our USB charging port here. So let's give it a peel and turn it on. Bring it a bit closer so you can see it fully. And here we go. Superb, push the key to start. So I want to connect to Wi-Fi, get it all set up and follow the guide. So it looks like it wants to connect to Wi-Fi now and actually follow the guide to get it all set up and updated. So I'm gonna end this video here, go have a play with the device and get back to you about all the different features that are available on it. If you enjoyed that quick unboxing, please join me next time where I'll be looking at the actual firmware in its entirety. Catch you next time, happy hacking.